Alright. Like no now we we have uh where's the props? Did you bring it? Yeah. Okay, you can get it out of there. Yours has your name on it. It says Ramza on it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a credit for wearing your prop. Also, Ramza's wearing a red shirt. You know what red is the color of in, in Starfleet? Security. Security and engineering. All right, ship services, communication, engineering, security. So I'm going to have to wear a blue shirt? No, I have to wear a blue shirt. Cause She's blue. You'd be tan. You'd have a tan shirt. Like a uh, uh, captain? Yeah. Yeah. Unless, even though you are an engineering specialist, though. Your specialty is engineering, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you would be command. You'd be wearing a tan shirt. The boy and Dorian yeah. are more blue. No, it just, it just depends. It's just whatever the makeup was. <laughs> because of Captain... Um, there was a little change that you don't really know about, but um, Captain Eliafi has been relieved of command of the USS Cairo. Starfleet Command has sent orders to promote uh, Commander Hashmi. He is now Captain Hashmi. Uh, he is in charge of the USS Cairo, which is a Lochnar class frigate. Don't forget that. Get to know your ship. All right how it runs. Um, that means that if, Cap if uh, Captain Eliafi may, or Commander Eliafi will probably be your first officer, however, it'll be up to you to choose who your first officer is. Um, you have, among you, you have uh, Lieutenant An Anira uh, here, and you have also, your science officer, your engineer, okay? They have shown exceptional uh, conduct in their jobs, okay? Um, so you have a week to decide. You can't decide now. They keep it to yourself. Nobody come to him during the week and say, hey, come on, come on. You know, give him gifts and money, okay? You have a week to decide. It's either going to be Mustafa. I'm sorry, uh, 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 midshipman, um, actually, That's we'd have to promote him. He couldn't be a midshipman and a uh, first officer. And um, Andas and Naor, okay? So, uh, and Donna. Muhammad, like Muhammad, or is well, he's one of them. He's one of your choices. So you can choose him to be your first officer if you want, okay? But don't decide now. All right. Yes. Um. You know what I need you to do? I need you to go over there a little closer to Ramza, okay? Like, um, if much closer. Because, um, uh, because Captain Hashmi was, was in the landing party, is he still in the landing party? That's over. Yeah, That's we're done. Were you, were you here last week? Yeah, he was. Okay. We, there wasn't yeah. anything last week, so I probably forgot. Yeah, last, oh, yeah, last week there wasn't anything. Was yeah, there was the break. Thanksgiving break. Yeah. So he. Yeah, we weren't here last week. That yeah. was good that yeah. you remember. You got you got to pay attention now, young man. So what's happening? Take notes and watch the YouTube channel. I've got the whole adventure on YouTube, everyone. Okay. The whole adventure, all five hours, <laughs> is on there. I edited it. It's all five hours, the whole adventure, okay? All right, so if the cat nose becomes too much for you, you can take it off and then put it on a little bit later, okay? okay. But our Cations here, I got their crate. So you got your penny? Yeah, got okay, me. good. All right. Um, Thank you for checking. Could I, use, could I put a yellow shirt instead of a tan shirt? Yeah, that's fine. Brown. How about how but it can't be like, like that shirt, that doesn't count, because that's like the MCC shirt. I want it red like his. And blank. Yeah. Like, you see it says Crescent, those letters? That's the color red you can wear for security or ship services, okay? I would like to start. Yes? Well, what if you're a helmsman? What do you do here? Helmsman is command. So you're brown, yellow, tan, okay? All right? Okay. So we're going to jump. Read 
where we left off. You had a, you're on patrol. You actually sense the Igly encounter at the deep space research facility, 39, which was way over here. It, at a couple weeks traveling warp seven, you ended up being shifted over here to this area between Gorn and Romulan and Federation territories. This area, no one knows what's in here. This area in here is called the neutral zone. That means Romulans can't enter it, Federation can't enter it. If you do, you're probably gonna end up, that means you wanna start a war. Or uh, like you, you have to surrender your ship and your men. It, it gets messy, yeah, yeah. So you're in this area right here. You happen to be near a star called Mosinfar's star. Okay? Mosinfar's star has a few planets going around it. And that area of Mosinfar's star is a known as a neutral area. That means that that area isn't doesn't have allegiance to the Federation, the Romulans, or the Gorn. So you might find ships that are Romulan in that star system. What about Goron? Goron, Goron as well, yeah. Aren't Gorons like kind of... So you were kind of getting paranoid and bored and trying to come up with conspiracy theories about what could be happening, but nothing was happening. All of a sudden you got the distress call, you may recall, and we'll jump back. I'm going to be speaking for the different actors here. Captain, that was the communication officer. Talk about boredom. Except for filing reports with Starfleet, communications has not even had a chance to open hailing frequencies. And opening hailing frequencies is what you do when you're trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. He cut off the duty officer. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm picking up a distress signal, Captain. Intermittent signal disruption makes it hard to decipher, but and he says, on audio, Lieutenant. The speakers crackled with static and the whine of signal oscillation filled the bridge. Then some words cut through the interference. Any ship in danger. This is Trader Rigel. Hostile vessel huge. We Engines failing. Assistance. Danger. Attack. Pride or Rigel under attack. Signal gone. Communications officer stabbed another control, then shrugged helplessly. They're signaling, sir, but I can't bring anything clearly. The captain nodded. Keep at it. Can you lock in on the source of transmission, Ensign? Lieutenant. The duty officer bent over the science council. Yes, sir, online now. Navigation. Lay in an intercept course. Helm, maximum warp. All hands go to alert status. The klaxon sounded the alert. Responses came in from each post as the frigate surged towards the vessel in distress. Pulling his chin thoughtfully, the captain leaned forward on his seat to study the trace in the navigation tank. An old saying his grandfather had been fond of popped into his mind and he repeated it under his breath. Be careful what you wish for, you might get it. So never complain about being bored. All right. So now we begin. The USS Cairo is approaching the coordinates of the vessel in distress. What is the vessel's name? Um, Pride O'Rigel. Is it not a fleet? Uh, it's a question for the library computer. Okay. Computer? Working. Uh, what is this? Is the ship Pride or Rigel in our fleet, Starfleet? Working. And you hear it clicking and clacking. And uh, the game master is going to give you that in a second. <laughs> to the right page. <laughs> Normally this would be a lot faster. But I should have had the page marked up. <laughs> Sorry. Like computer having DSP. <laughs> you need to ins you need to instruct uh, your science officer to fix the library computer. Okay, 
Prado Rigel is a Mark II Dwarf Star Freighter. In our fleet. Uh, this particular one is a built by a Regillian company for a merchant marine. It is not a Starfleet Command vessel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's this. Yeah, he did it. He did it. Computer? You have to ask me if you can ask me. Can I, can I ask the computer? Go ahead. The computer? Working. Uh, the, uh, are the, uh, check if, uh, can you scan the area? It is a job of science officer. Science officer <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is a simple job for you. It's a matter of a press of a button and check out your control panel. Sensors detect two objects ahead in deep space, both of them moving under power. The smaller of the two is the Dwarf Star freighter. At this range, the vessel's transponder code is picked up. It is confirmed. You have found that it is the, the trader ship, Pride Rigel. It's a free trade ship. Okay, if you can imagine, you have the U.S. Coast Guard, right? And then you have the U.S. Navy, right? And then you have these big freighters that carry our junk from China to here. Okay? So those are not military. He's like that, okay? But he's a much smaller ship. So he's probably either bringing illegal substances or goods, or he's trading in something special that you can't, you know, get, you, people don't order on large masses. Could be anything. Right. Can we say? Hold on, I got more info for you. Listen very carefully. Now, because you're the captain, you have to be responsible. Okay, so, you know, you should be taking notes too. The trader sh ship's engineering section is scarred by energy burns. Although the vessel is moving, sensor readings show that the trader is rapidly losing power. Is, the, is there any ship's mm -hmm. fire? There's two vessels. There was, that's one ship that you scanned. Can we scan the other ship? Uh, science officers can the other ship, please. And by the way, if you have any questions, science officer, that you want to know more about these things, you need to ask, okay? So, so you're scanning up the second one, all right? Mm -hmm. The second object is immense. Immense. Do you know what that word means? Huge, large, huge. An uneven surface cylinder over one and a half kilometers long. Whoa. Whoa. Now, a kilometer is a thousand meters, and a meter is approximately three feet. Three times a thousand is about 3,000 feet. That's really big. Okay. <laughs> is that like a cannon? But the whole ship? No. That That's for you to find out. It's immense. Um, it's definitely immense. If you want to get more details on it, you're going to have to do a better scan. You're going to have to do a detailed scan if you want to get a visual of it. Is that what you want? I have a suggestion. Give her a white and a black guy, please. I have a suggestion. Um, yeah. um, I think we should go closer to the ship. I'm sorry. Can we go any faster? Okay. What's your, what's your sensor operation? Where is that? Starship sensors, alphabetical. Yeah. You all right, Nabila? Mm -hmm. 41. 41? Okay, what'd you roll? 64. You gotta get closer. Next turn. I told you. We are going. Okay, so, um, you can talk to engineering, they can try to get some more power out of the engines to help you to go faster. We might need that power for if we have an encounter. <clears throat> All right, you red alert. Are your shields up? 
Yep. What about weapons? Weapons up too. You gotta give the order to your helmsman. Helmsman, weapons up. And shields. Alright. Any questions, people? You'll be there shortly. <laughs> okay, you can try again. Yeah. 62. Well, you do see something in the view screen. Kind of a red dot and a little white dot. Mm -hmm. The white dot is the freight is the trader ship, the red dot is uh, the uh, other vessel. The um, should I make radio contact with the freighter or transporting ship? Uh, communications officer, uh, could you try making contact with the uh, com uh, ship? Communication. <coughs> communications officer? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, could you make a uh, radio communication with the uh, trade ship, trading vessel? Play it? Come on, communications officer. You gotta say something. Your communications officer, you need to say something. Oh, I got a question. I, um, I'd say call grandma, tell her we're gonna be late. So you pick up the phone and you dial it. She picks up, she says, hello? And you don't say anything. Hello? <laughs> Okay, so you need to you need to talk. So what do I say? Mm, say uh. No, no, no. You should know this. This is he told you to contact him. You say this is USS Cairo, Trader Pride Arrival. Do you read? This is USS Cairo, Pride Arrival. Do you read? Pride Arrival here. Holy cow, boy! I'm glad you got here. You're here to help me out, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, uh, would you mind, uh, 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 wait, I, I can't talk. And he cuts off. Uh, obviously, his ship is trying to outrun this other ship. So I can tell you now that you're a lot closer. You dropped out of warp. You're in impulse power, so are they. You're no longer going at light speed. This ship is barely noticeable beside this huge object. What? So you can't see it? The hull of the behemoth is made of some kind of strange, it's made of some kind of strange alloy, some kind of strange metal light. It doesn't look like metal, but it doesn't look like rock either. It's just very strange. Probably gone. Um, Your subspace communications um, are being jammed. You're not able to pick up Starfleet's beacon. As a communications officer, you have you have connection to the Starfleet beacon, which allows you to have communications all over your quadrant of the galaxy. You can't even pick up the Starfleet command beacon now. There's so much interference. Captain, I can't connect with the Starfleet beacon. Could we pull out of its radius? Uh, you have to move the ship. Okay. You sure you want to do that? <laughs> the guy is you're trying to go there to help him. You're going to have to leave the whole area. No, no don't do that. No. Okay, now I made some comments about what's out there. Let's start thinking like explorers. Let's make could scientists. You, uh, you, you talk with your captain. Yeah, security go first. Captain? Yes. Can our science officer scan if it's metal oid? Okay. Can we roll for it? Okay. You're going to have to roll for it. <laughs> 12. 
All you could get is it's pure neutronium. Um, computer, you know what neutronium is? Neutronium. Computer. Uh, oh, could you working? Never mind. Could you search up to you. I thought it was. Could you check up neutronium one? Neutronium. A super dense element found at the heart of collapsed stars. Neutronium is a rare and extremely tough substance. Federation technology is not yet up to the manipulation of neutronium as a structural material. Additional information available. Mm -hmm. Which race uses uh, neutronium for shipbuilding or space shipbuilding? No known Federation or Romulan, Gorn, Klingon, or Orions, Tholians, any other races we've encountered. The only race that was encountered was a theoretical race discovered by Captain James T. Kirk and the USS Enterprise when they encountered Doomsday Machine. Oh, oh, oh. Is it it's a kind of like cloud thing? Negative. Or it... Neutronium is a hard alloy. This is what you guys see in your view screen. Whoa. There's the Pride of Rigel. There's the other ship. Oh, what is that? There's the Pride of Rigel. There's the other ship. Is that only part of the other ship or like? Yeah, it's so big you can't oh. get it on the view screen. Is it, does it seem like it's under attack? Uh, he, he insisted, you, you're gonna have to talk with uh, Can we talk with the make establish a uh, communications officer? Could you establish communication with uh, the uh, large behemoth? Now you should tell her if you want her to do it or you want her to connect you with him. Could you connect me with the large ship? Tell him hailing frequency is open, sir. Hailing frequency is open, sir. Hello, hello, do you copy? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, is this the captain? Yes, this is the captain. Oh boy, look, look, I don't, this is a mess, this is a mess, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This big old thing, I can't get away from it. Is it chasing you? Uh, yes, yes, chasing, oh, hey, hold on, uh, no, over there, over there guys, but, uh, uh get the whole breach, get the whole breach. Uh, sorry, Captain, uh, listen, this thing, I, I swear it's chasing me. Go on warp speed and we'll... Oh, we're gonna be covering you. I'm, you I'm losing. I, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I'm losing power. I'm losing power so bad. If I don't shut down my engines, my whole ship is gonna blow. Could uh, science operator, could you transport power to their by any way to their ship? I can do that. You're gonna have to talk to engineering. engineering. You have to work out some way to do that. Engineering, engineering. is there any possible way uh, to? Uh, Transport power from our ship to their ship. Who's engineering? Um, yeah. Yes, Captain. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna need you to do is, well, let me just put it to you this way, Captain. You have a tractor beam. Mm -hmm. Every ship has a tractor beam. You'd have a better chance of helping with the tractor beam then you would give him power from your ship. What does the tractor beam do? A tractor can beam can either push or pull another ship. Or an object. Or an object. Okay, it, it comes right out the bottom of your, your ship and it it's, you know, it's like throwing a hook on something and pulling it in. Uh, oh, like, like, it's like those magnetic things distance? that they do in Star Wars. Should or, be like mm -hmm. an alien. Or, what what's the distance? Tell? You're, you're going to have to get a lot closer. Okay, um, uh, we already have full warp speed. Yeah, helm, helm, speed, helm uh, are we on full? Yeah. Are we on full warp speed? No, you're not in warp speed oh, anymore. Thank God. <laughs> First crash, did you like you? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you dropped out of warp. Okay, uh, let's get a little closer. Helm, take us closer to the ship. Okay, uh, Captain. Could I talk to the, could I talk to the ship? Yes. Hey, hey most of all, give, give, give him this. Give, uh, Give the helmsman that one, yeah. It's a very good sound effect there, I like that. Yeah, um, could I, uh, uh could I talk to the Primal Rigel's captain? Okay, as, as, as she brings in 
the, uh, the connection. The helmsman, helmsman, you notice the course of the ship changing. The big ship, the immense ship, and it's starting to face your ship, USS Cairo. Uh oh. Yes. Now it's ch starting to chase us. <laughs> Looks like it. Suggestion. My science officer, get you. Get your questions. This is, this is a new discovery. Uh, I don't know, you I think? Have, I you should, think? What is this thing? Should, How uh, old is should, it? Uh, What's in should, it? What uh, powers drop, it? You drop more feet and we should Science. we should turn uh, we should um we should uh, uh turn up our shields. And our shields are already up. Our weapons are already up. Establish communication with uh the small ship. Try to oh. Okay. Um. You. Beep. What's that ship's name? Uh, Primal Rydler, do you copy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I th you know, I think this the, the ship is looking for a snack. And I think he's going to get you now. Um, one thing. What do you have in your cargo? Oh, just some uh, ancient artifacts I found laying around space. I'm a free trader. I just go around finding ancient space artifacts. And I uh, sell them to museums and... Uh, People who are into whoever is willing to pay the biggest price, if you know what I'm saying. Which planet are you heading out to now? I'm on course for the planet Ektar. Okay, um, uh, is your power going back up? Uh, engineering is working on it right now. Almost got it back up. Okay, we're gonna bust because that thing looks like it's chasing us, so yes. we're gonna go, kind of go on like warp speed. Uh, science officer, please. Or shady. Oh. <laughs> no, you had something to say. Oh, I was saying, I think that ship sucks energy because when you saw the picture at the end, it kind of looked like it was a circle. So, and after it moved away and it was same us, they started getting their energy back. Okay, what you have to do before you, hold on. Keep, hold, don't forget your question, your, your thing you're going to say. If you're gonna make a, what you're doing now is you're, you've hypothesized, you've come up with a theory of why things are the way they are. As a scientist, you gotta have proof. So how do you prove that, right? You think it's taking energy away, right? So what should you do to, to prove that? I have an idea. Wait, I'm asking her. Um. You should scan to find out if it's taking energy away from the other ship. Do you understand? To scan the big ship? Mm hmm That's what you should do. You should be working on that thing while they're talking and doing their thing. You should be coming up with these things and then you'll tell me, okay, Game Master, I want to roll on this and I'm scanning this and I'm scanning that. Okay. Yeah. Captain, I'm going to be scanning the big ship because I want to see if they're... Um, Trapping energy from the other ship. Go ahead, you're on your Yeah. 22. Okay. Do your readout, you can't get anything. You have a dead zone all the way around the machine because of the neutronium hull. Nothing can penetrate it. The only way you can scan is if you get right in front of the mouth of the machine. So they have to bring the ship in front. You can't tell. From what you found, it's not taking energy from anyone's ship. Obviously, his ship was hit with something, and he's losing power because of that hit. Before you guys showed up, remember? I said uh, your scanner said it had damp burns on the engineering section, right? So it got hit with something. Y'all got to find out what? Engineering. I was going to say that. Did that answer your question? Okay. I was gonna say that um maybe the big ship is um what was chasing the other ship because it wanted the artifacts that it took. Ooh, maybe it's weird. Yeah, but I can't get. We can't. I we're, can't we're get. We're in a dead zone right thing. now. You can go. You can move in front of the the machine's but the mouth. But the thing is, what if it's the cannon? <laughs> 
We have our shields on though. Or maybe right? it's ducks. a good idea we, we have to go in front to see. Maybe we can see no. if it does take energy. Because if maybe we go in front of the mouth to oh. eat, yeah. then we'll see if it takes energy and it builds us our powers and we'll move away. We can't risk that because if our power dramatic is, he claimed probably his power dramatically dropped, so. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, so. But why did his power see. dramatically drop? Don't assume. You should be asking questions. Okay. You were asking the Pride of Rigel's captain questions before. You should ask him that question. Okay. Right? Uh, could I, yeah. communication op officer, could you link me up with the Pride of Rigel? Okay. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Pride of Rigel? Hey, yeah, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, uh, when you guys got near that big mouth thing at the end of the ship, did did your thing get dramatic, like, did your power go down, or did no, you... No, the thing shot me. It shot me. Is it hostile? It's a hostile. I, I don't know what the thing is. Do you know what it is? <laughs> we, uh, the Starfleet has no, no thing, and no race that we know of has, uses that. What's your oh. intelligence? Cap Captain. INT. <coughs> okay, so. Yeah, 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 I tell you, I tell you. You know, I see him coming after you, but you can obviously outpace him, so uh, you're doing okay. I'm, I, while you guys got him distracted, I'm fixing my engines. But apparently he's going after something. I don't know what, but he shot me. Almost blew my ship up. What exactly do you have? What material do you have in your ship? I just got old artifacts. I don't know, old, reckless, useless uh, rocks and pieces of metal. I just dig up things and I find them on planets. I find them orbiting planets. I take them and I and I sell them. And I'm going to Ektar to sell them now. I... And because of you guys, I'm able to do it and I can, I can get paid and feed my family. One thing, you might have, it's, this is just a, my hypothesis or a theory, of course, but it might, you might be carrying one, like a metal that makes a ship. Bigger. Like it's, uh, you may be carrying that, what's that metal called? Uh, that, oh, uh, sorry. What? Neutronium. neutronium. You might be carrying neutronium on your board. Neutronium? I got no neutronium on my ship. That guy's the neutronium. Out there, you better watch out for him. You can't shoot through neutronium no matter what you do. Not even a supernova can get through a neutronium. It comes, I heard it comes from the heart of a collapsed star. It does. <sighs> that is some bad news. But I'm glad I met some good friends like you in Starfleet. Mm. Okay, right. so is your engines up and running? Did you get warp out of here? Yeah, we got half the power back and we, we're damaging, we're fixing up the hull breach. We're almost done. Hey, how about, you know, you guys up in Starfleet, you got all kinds of great equipment and uh, all kinds of great technology. Oh, wh oh, why don't you want to share some of that with, with me? I certainly could use some uh, baffle plate shielding and some uh, 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 aluminum-based caulk. Would you have any of that stuff? Maybe you could beam over to my ship. Yeah. I don't think we have authorization to, that, to do that. I'm going to call my Commodore. Could you look me up to Commodore PC? Sir, beep, hailing frequencies open, sir. This is Commodore PC. Okay, what did you want? Could, uh, could I have two channel frequencies at once? Not to Commodore Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you just want to ask him if, if, if he <laughs> thinks it's okay that you would give uh, this equipment to this traitor who is damaged. Yeah, uh, like, so what was the equipment? Whatever you told him. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, Captain Hashmi. Um, you know, you're out there. You're saving ships uh, from a destructive. Uh, what was that? What was that? Neutronium ship. Wow, neutronium ship. You know, I'd suggest you guys look that thing up on the library computer. Get some more info on that. But anyways, um, uh, you know, it's your duty. So if, if that's what he needs, and if you give him those materials, and it's not going to cause a problem for you all. You know, where it's stuff you could replicate easily? Give it to him. Okay, um... I gotta get going, I got a meeting. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, take care. Good luck to you.
Right. Okay, could uh, so could, uh, just tell me what to do. Hail frequency with the other ship. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Okay, uh. Hey, it's my uh, friend Captain Heshmi. How you doing? Pramaraja, I uh, we're gonna be beaming your what you want right now. Oh man, that's great. That's great. We got we got uh. You're gonna really help me fix up my problems really fast doing that, cause I just ran out of this stuff. I don't have enough power for my replicators. Good. So, engineer, could you send beam all beam this equipment to uh, Pride Rigel? Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing, my 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 good friend, Command Captain Heshmi. Uh, if you could please, uh, uh, I need. I could use a couple of a uh, sonic screwdrivers, mm -hmm. and. Uh, with reverse polarity, would you be able to send me some of those too, my friend? Do we have a uh, com library computer? What's reverse polarity equipment? Oh, this is all. This is you. Just talk to your engineer. This is standard equipment. He knows all that stuff. Uh, like, is it rare? Or um, like that's what I'm worried about. What rare? is your administration? What? Your admin skill, administration skill A, administration. Oh. Uh. Nothing. Zero? Okay. At minus 60. Okay, roll. Yeah. Hmm. Should I mm -hmm. to Yeah, roll. 79. No, 97. 97. Uh, you guys aren't sure if you should give him that. If it's... You, you know, might need it, you might not. <laughs> but if you get rid of it now, you won't be able to get another one until you get to start base. Okay, I'll just beam it over to him. Hey, thank you, my man, my man, my great friend, Captain Heshmi. Okay, so you are being chased by the, uh, mm -hmm. you're right in, fr basically right near the machine, and it's mm -hmm. following you. Okay, and you're headed towards Ektar, was that your course? It was going to Ektar, that's where the trader was going. Yeah, that's our course. Okay, so, um... No, 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 the, uh, never mind, I'm gonna cancel that course, I'm gonna be buzzing out, like... Really soon. The other direction? Like you're gonna okay. warp out? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. warp out. Alright, well the captain it was about twenty minutes past. Captain uh, the Captain uh, uh O'Flaherty of the uh Pride Rigel, mm -hmm. his engineering section is fixed, he's got full power. He's gonna continue his course to Ecter. Okay. Mm, bye bye. Okay my friend, see you later. You too. Have a safe trip. Alright. Okay, so where? Yes. Um, I think, I think we should. I think we should, instead of instead of getting close to him, I think we should. I think we should go under him mm. to get to the mouth. It's still the same thing. The jamming radius surrounds. You can't communicate without with subspace communication. You can co connect, communicate directly with a ship nearby, but you can't communicate far. So I mean, but but. Are you, are you gonna leave the machine now? You're gonna get out of there, wherever the machine is. Could I uh, talk to the machine? The big thingy. Could I ask her? Could you s try to hail communication with this big thing? Beep. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Hello, anybody? Well, you should identify yourself. This is Captain Hashmi. This is Captain Hashmi from Cairo. U USS, USS Cairo. You know that city in Egypt, Cairo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Cairo. Um, identify yourself. There's no response. Nothing. Not even a signal. I'm buzzing out. Okay, you're warping out. So, um, all right. So no, you guys no, no, leave. Not yet. Not yet. Could I take uh, uh, engineering? Could you take a few? Photo shoots of the ship for science at the starbase. That would be communications, actually. Communications. Science. They would work together to for take science? survey pictures. Yeah. yeah. I'm science. Yeah. 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 Uh, could you uh, survey pictures for starbase? <coughs> okay. And you want to sure. send them to send Starfleet? Them. Starfleet. All right. So you guys warp no. out. No. Wait a second. We can't send them until we're out of the radius. The Starfleet ba beacon is. Working. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to get a little further away from it. Okay, so we're gonna get a little for further and beam it up. You gotta warp out of there. You gotta be a couple light years away. Okay, we're going. Okay. You mean so years? Light years is how much a light travels in a year. Yeah, but so you travel faster than light with warp speed engines, so oh, it's oh, no problem. Oh, you said it's like this. 
it becomes it's measured as light years. Mm. Okay, let me show you how warp speed, okay. how warp works. This is point A, this is point B, right? It takes, let's say it's three light, go ahead. It's three light years from here to here, okay? Warp folds space to bring you here like this. Okay? That's what it does. It doesn't move fast like a rocket. It just warps the space around it so that it doesn't have to travel so much. Okay? So they're very special engines. Okay, so you're out of the range. So while you, you sent your report to Starfleet, you just, y'all remembered many years ago, it, this story reminds you of a machine that was encountered as the library computer mentioned, encountered by the USS Enterprise.